Hi folks, Professor Amachi wanted to show you how you can take advantage of free open APIs that are out there on the internet for you to extend the capabilities of your application. And so if you're ready, let's get started. Hi folks, welcome to lab one on the API assignment here. So uh, lab one here, this is going to be a comment sentiment analyzer app with APIs and JS. Uh, this assignment here was also adapted from uh, this blog post on Rapid API. Let's imagine that we've created a really awesome project, a really awesome product that causes such a strong reaction from users in our community that they cannot hold back their emotions when they write their comments. To help users determine the nature of their feelings about the product, we will expand the usual commenting form and add functionality to analyze the sentiments of their comments. And we do this in qualitative research a lot as well. So in this task, we will be helped by the text processing API here, which is available through the Rapid API service. This API works under freemium conditions, allowing a limited number of texts per day uh, to be processed for a fee. Since we're only going to process a few comments for test purposes, that's enough for us. So here's what you do. You go over to rapidapi.com, sign up for an account, and it's free. As you can see, I have my account already here. And what we are gonna do is we're gonna search for a particular API. I think the one we're gonna be searching for is text processing. So it's under text processing here. It is freemium, updated a month ago. And look at this popularity here. Uh, it's a 9.6 out of 10. Yeah, it's pretty popular, and I personally like this API because it's great for demonstration purposes. What you're going to want to do here is click here, subscribe to test. This is the one you want to subscribe to, the uh, <laughs> $0 a month, right? Uh, queries, you could do 45000 a month, and you're charged, uh, looks like one penny uh, for every after. <laughs> but in our case, we're probably not going to do that much. So let's just go ahead and hit subscribe here to the uh, free version. Okay, and go ahead and drop in a credit card. Okay, so we got the credit card number in here and we're gonna go ahead and do pay now. All right, cool, so subscription created successfully. And here are the endpoints right here. So check this out. This is really cool in the fact that your API key is listed right here. And you can do things here like interact with the uh, particular API. See, look, English right here, output tagged. Text is hello world. And we can even, we should be able to even do a test endpoint here and check this out. So we got our response here. Response is 200 okay. And right here, uh, we get our response in a JSON package. Okay, headers look like this. So that's really cool about Rapid API is that they include the documentation which you can interact with and get an idea of how to put together your app. Okay, here we are at the project structure. So this project structure consists of three files. It's index, uh, style, 
and you got our JS file that's right here. I went ahead and included those for you in your repo. So here's index, here's styles, and here's text processing. Go ahead and put your name and date in here. Uh, let's drop in your name, not mine. Okay, so come out here to styles. Uh, go ahead and drop in your name and date there. That should be fine. Okay, cool. So here we are. We're going to need to connect our styles project here. So import our own CSS styles here. This is going to be link CSS and it's going to be styles.css. Okay, styles.css there. And then we're going to connect to the Axios library for request. Okay, so let's import our Axios library. That's uh, going to be a script source. And our script source. Let's go ahead and paste that in right there. That's the Axios library. Okay, we're gonna need a query string library in here as well. Okay, so script source, uh, we'll drop that one in there. And then we're gonna add our own JS file in here. So script source, it's the text processing JS. Okay, and now we're going to create some styles. So as a matter of fact right here, why don't we uh, go ahead and do live preview here. We're going to start this one up here. We are going to go to lab one. Okay, so there's our comment text analysis that's right here. So um, much of this has been written for you. Okay, why don't we style this out? Okay, that was uh, your CSS for styles. Okay, so go ahead and do that there. And then it styles this box out here a little bit. All right, let us create our JS file here. Okay, so for our JS here, we're going to copy this in here. So here it is under the key here. Uh, we're going to take our key that comes from here. So here it is right here. This is our key. Go ahead and copy this one out. We're going to copy this out into here. Okay. So this is our host, as you can see, and our request headers is going to include the endpoint here. It's going to include the uh, host, it's going to include the key, and the content type. Okay, so that's our first section there. Uh, now, we want to create a request based on the text entered by the user. Okay. And that's right here. So uh, we're going to do uh, this. It's the analyze comment. And we're going to pass in the comment and the callback. So we're going to create an object to send to the server. We're going to construct a data payload here. Text is going to be the comment. And language is going to be English. And here's our encoding type here. Okay, now we are going to need a function that we can pass as a callback to the previous one. That is a function that does something with the result, namely it displays it to the user here. Okay, so here is our function for display result. Okay, it's going to be a, you recognize this, document get element by ID. It's the main result block there. 
and we're going to remove that invisible class there if we have something. We'll set the color of the result text depending on the response label. So there's our label there, there's our result element, document get element by ID, looks very familiar, and we pass in result. Result element, we set our attribute there, and we pass in our class and our label. We clear the result text, and then here, our result text can be very positive, it could be negative, it could be a simple comment, or we can't understand that comment. Okay, then we're going to set the result text right over here. So then we use that text content. That's going to be our result text. Perhaps we also need a function that will do something if the user has not entered anything and press the button. Here we're going to make the result block invisible by applying the class invisible. And then we're going to display a message here. So we need uh, the handle empty comment. Okay, so that handle empty comment is going to go between the analyze comment and the display result. Okay, so here it is function for handle empty comment. Document get element by ID, it's the main result block there. Got invisible, and then we're going to say here hey, our uh, comment is empty. We're also going to need a handler function which will work when a button is pressed and combine everything we wrote before. So this is the button click handler, the on analyze button click. So that should be out over here on analyze button click, right? So as soon as we hit that, it'll execute this function right here. So that's going to be our button click handler there. Let's go ahead and drop that in right after the headers here. Okay, so here it is on analyze button click function. We'll do a document get element by ID with the comment right there get the comment text, we're going to do a comment element value trim and a handle the empty comment if comment text does not have anything then we're going to return handle empty comment. Okay and then here we call the API and pass the result with the display result as a callback function. So here it is, analyze comment, we pass in the comment text and the display result. Let's try this out. This is an awesome app. And here it is, wow, your comment is very positive. That's cool. Let's see if we can fire this up in our dev tools here. So for a look at our console, let's try this. Uh, I do not like this assignment and app. It makes me feel sad. <laughs> okay, so we analyze here and we see it's a negative comment. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, if we do something that we cannot understand here. Okay, analyze. Hey, look at that. 
Awesome. And here's what we have here. Look, uh, we did the uh, Axios library that's right here. On Analyze Comment, we went to our text processing API. And on Analyze Button Click, here it is, text processing. And then we did the on click. Uh, we wrote our, hey, simple comment here. We wrote that to our HTML. That was so amazingly cool. I hope you had a good time with that because I certainly enjoyed helping to put this together for you. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you on the next.